Kyle Paleologos in fourth and Corey Alton's in the second will round out the top five. Walker McGreal will then be the number six position. Nico Serdan, William Jordan, Caleb O'Neill, and I believe it's going to be Chase Patton rounding out the top ten. A 1-2 will win the motocross championship for Seth Creedy. So Creedy finishing second in this moto will take the overall. Easton Jeanette's third place finish with a 2-3 gives him the overall second. And Ashton Aruda 7-1 will give him the overall third. <laughs> Van Quest with a 120. Ouch. Or 22. Wait, oh, he might. It just keeps falling. Uh, he, so he, he he, back on, I don't think he got back up any time. Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid he was uh, holding that left shoulder right yeah. there. Uh, took a pretty good digger. Hit. Didn't look that hard, but you got to understand, underneath that little soft surface, it is pretty solid underneath. So, and I believe that was probably third gear tap, JH. <laughs> that's, why, that's why. That's why. I still have the motocross bikes. Stick to the adventure bikes. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, heading into our next race, race number five. Ours is about lap times, or about good times, not lap not times. Not lap times. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Coming into this one, Chase Wolf, the number 13, is going to be a player as he took his uh, division race win. And he had Chase Wolf, and then you also had Kane Bolasina with the division race win. Caleb Wolf, Wolf finished up in second place. Brandon E took a second place position finish in his qualifier, or I should say in his division race. Some third place finishing uh, and fourth place going to Colby Lesser. Uh, third place to Carson Adams, the 18, as well as Jonathan Getz. Uh, fourth place as well to Zane Martin. Brody Barth was a top five rider in his division. And uh, that's uh, about uh, 10 players that you got to, to look at right now as far as some of the possible components for the overall top 10. But as we know, and exactly why we run the second moto is because you can't just assume that. you got to go out and race that. <laughs> Kobe Lester leading uh, Caleb Wood. It is a 2-2-4 two -two scoring the overall right now. Uh, Caleb Wood, uh, again, your, your second place, but Kobe Lesser took a fourth in moto number one, so he's uh, a little far back in the overall standings. Jace Wolf was his third right now. Wolf was a winner in moto number one. Kane Molasina also, I believe, took a win in moto number one, so he's looking at right now fourth place in the class. St. Martin rounds out your top five, and we'll reassess this as they sort it out here in the 85, 12, 13 limited after we stop down and check in with Mikey Waynes. Thank you, Rodney Tomlin. Ashton Arruda, man, I know maybe not quite the finish you wanted, but hey, hanging on for a third place finish. Uh, congratulations to you, man, who you want to thank? I have my mom, my dad, my sister, my grandparents. Tech Service Racing, DC3 Suspension, AP Construction, Distinctive Auto Body, FXR, 60, Scott, Ava POP Fun, Brock from CEP Physical Therapy, and the Why Not Go. Thank you, everybody else. Here we go, make some noise. Third place finisher, Ashton Aruda. All right, Easton Jeanette, come on up, man. A second place finish and a wild finish for you, a wild moto for you, no doubt about that, buddy. Uh, who would you like to thank? I'd like to thank my dad, brother, Real Deal, Rob and Cherry, FXR, Garnet, 6D, uh, Pro Taper, Serbies, and anyone else that helps me. Thank you. There we go. Make some noise. Second place finisher, Easton Jeanette. All right, let's bring up our champ. He's been consistent all week, Seth Creedy. There he is. Come on back here with me behind the machine. I'm going to hand you the champagne. To your right-hand side, Mr. Mike burkeen has got a number one plate and a handshake. Make some noise for Seth Greedy. Well, Seth, talk to us, man. What did it take to get out in front of these guys, grab a win? Uh, you know, always get a good start. Like, this, this time I didn't get the whole shot, so I was, like, top five. Had to get around a few guys to get in the second, and I knew uh, Ashton was riding good, and I knew he was uh, – he didn't do good the first moto, so I uh, – just stayed behind him and yeah, came out on top. Congratulations to you, man. Who you want to thank? I'd like to thank my mom, my dad, Lowell Spangler at Fleet 427, Dutchman MX, SM2, 230 Cafe, Dark Star, Fly, Boysen, ICW, FMF, Action Motorsports, Leeds, my sister, um, Evo Industries, and everybody else. Thank you. There you go. Make some noise. Your champ, 250C Limited, Seth Creedy. Take it away, boys. All right, thanks, Mikey. Right now, looking at 85 CC 12 to 13 Limited, Colby Lesser 
out front after two. He ran at 159.6 last time around. Look at this. Chase Wolf, he's about three seconds back. He also turned a 159.6. Came Bolasina in that number three spot, a 159.8 and a 159.5 for Brandon Ede in the fourth position. 201 for Zane Martin. Rounded out your top five as they run on the course right now. Let's see here. Looks like possibly Jace Wolf in contention. Kane Bolasina in the number two spot. Colby Lesser in possible contention for that number three position on the box. Right now, the battle starting to shape up out here in the rear section of the track. There comes Lesser back into view right now. Should be Wolf in tow right now. I believe that is the 11. Close lap time there between the two top three riders. We have a 159.6 for Cody, Colby Lesser and Wolf with a 159.6 also. But Kane Lesnia is a 159.8. He's right there. And Eve is a 159.5. I mean, these guys, you can throw a blanket over them. Colby actually went a little bit slower that lap. Not sure if he had a mistake somewhere. But man, when you guys are running that close to lap times, and now 157.7, making up that gap that down to 1.9. Exactly what we were talking about right there. Can't be comfortable out front here at all. No, track. not in the least. But you say throw a blanket over Mikey uh, Wayne. Say throw a baby blanket over him. That's right. Kane on his way here. He's definitely making up more ground. He is on the gas here this next lap, closing the gap significantly even since that little short section here from going back across this finish line. Yeah, I'll be curious. Did Jace Wolf make a mistake last time around? Exactly what happened with that two-minute flat. So going to be. Curious to see, does he pick the pace back up? Can he close the gap back up? Well, the scene on that 314 looking good right there. You see him just working his way through those long ruts into that back left-hander. Hey, Jace Wolf behind him there and Brandon Eden both coming as well. Those guys mm -hmm. are toe together, helping each other there get through that section. They're not going to make it easy here in this moto. Yeah, one of his division races, Wolf was definitely the fastest guy. I'm trying to remember what that lap time was, but definitely the fastest guy. And here we go through those rollers, J.H. There comes Bolasina looking good, but look to his inside. That was the Wolf, yep. the number Coming. 13. You see this dirt changing color a good bit. We haven't had any precipitation today. Uh, we've still got that cloud cover but there are about four different distinct colors out there, J.H., and that's the amount of moisture in these different sections. You got a couple different textures, and man, that can really play havoc on, on a rider. Break a battle for the lead, here he comes. Lesnia, left turn here, heading down to the bottom of the pit. Ops for the outside wow. line. Yeah, He's gonna ball. try to carry that momentum, coming back across the rut, gonna set himself up here again. And look at that, got a great drive, Jay. It's like you said, went outside, crossed that rut, instead it got down in it. And made, look at this, all over the rear fender right now of Lesser. Made up a whole second that lap. Le leads me to believe that Kane is just a little bit faster. And there you go. Oh, look at this, Lesser wants to answer. Lesser said, not yet. Takes two to tango, let's get it. Now he's got an advantage here. If maybe he wasn't choosing what might be the better line, you get to see where maybe he was losing some of that lap time by following. He's got a little bit of time right. here. We're on the white flag lap, so um, not a whole lot of options here for the next lap, obviously, but still figuring out a little bit, maybe, you know, line selection wise, what's working better for, for him now. Oh, for sure. Wolf gave up just a bit of distance right there. Bolasina grabbed a handful, able to open up about an extra three bike lengths. But look at that, as soon as we say that, Wolf runs it in, holds it on just a little bit longer. Here comes around the outside. Probably gonna make this pass and make it stick here because he's gonna go shut the door as he does right there. And solid riding right now by the Wolf. Lesnia's well, got to be inside. careful. Eats coming too here. You got to be careful now. Hanging on to that. Try to hang on to that top three position. Exactly. Can't ride too conservatively right now. You got to be defensive, but you still have to maintain that level of aggressiveness to push forward. And composure-wise, from the lead now, running in third. Yes. Also, it's hard to deal with sometimes. Wow, the split oh. lanes. You see that? He had run it in hard, he did. real hard there coming across that tabletop from the Gizmo Mods Tower. 
and he's not finished yet. He's going to make another run at that third position here at the bottom of the pit. Oh, man. It gets really deep out there, J.H., and I don't think they understand how, how deep it is. If you just had that fringe, you'd, you'd have that loose.